So today is the 28th of May, which is Cruella Day! Woo! And I wasn't planning on doing any projects or sewing or anything because um, I only mentioned this really super briefly, but I have been having some major issues with like panic attacks and anxiety, which kills the creative juices <laughs> really badly. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I've been roller skating outside to kind of help with that a little bit. Today I was going to go outside roller skating, which is why I'm dressed like this. Sporty. Also, just in case you were wondering, no, I haven't brushed my hair. It's naturally this terrible. The sun was shining. I literally got ready to go outside and skate, and this happened. Why are you raining? This was not in the weather forecast. So, now I'm not skating outside. I'm gonna design a thing instead. <laughs> it is related to Cruella. My next project is in fact a stage outfit inspired by the brand new Disney's live action Cruella movie because I saw the trailer, fell in love with pretty much every outfit and I knew one of those was going to be the one. And of course I picked this ridiculous monstrosity which apparently has over 2,000 hand cut petals in it and is bigger than a car. That's why I'm saying it's inspired by and not exactly a cosplay because I <laughs> know they had a team for that. So uh, I'm going to do a bit of designing today and we'll figure out what we're doing and um, let's see what we come up with. Okay, so I've given up on trying to skate outside because it's still raining. I've got my trusty pencil, I've uh, got my trusty pad paper, I have my laptop set up. It's time to design an inspired by Cruella stage outfit. Because who else would I be inspired by? <laughs> first things first. Cake. Because all designs are fueled on chocolate and caramel. Nom nom. Cake aside, I did kind of know what I was doing pretty much from the image already, so I just ploughed in there. I knew that a big change I wanted to do was have giant spiky shoulders because I have always wanted those. I also knew that the back I wanted to be super detailed, so I did go in and put quite a lot of detail into the drawing for the back of it as well. Pause for more cake. Mostly what I want to do on the jacket is the fabric itself is going to be fairly simple but it's going to be covered in a lot of detail, embroidery, lyrics, embroidery, phrases um, but I'm also going to hand paint some of it as well so it's going to be a relatively plain fabric but quite a lot of detail put on top of it so it's just going to be chaos. I'm just going to throw everything at this thing and see what it looks like in the end including watch parts and pieces, basically all the junk that I've got left over from other projects. I also have a really cool idea to put a heart on an overskirt. So it's actually going to have two overskirts. Um, it's going to have the overskirt I drew there, which is um, going to match the rest of it. But I think I might also do a red and black overskirt like the one from the movie. But we shall see how that goes. Um, and also I'm just going to throw my logo in there wherever I can casually slide it in. I do have a random idea to light up the word strange on the back, but not sure about how I'm going to actually accomplish that and be able to keep it clean at the same time. We'll see. This I think is very much one of those projects where for all I sketch things out, the final thing I feel is going to be a bit different. So today I am going to be working on the black skirt part of my outfit. It's kind of like a, it's basically a petticoat that's been worn as a skirt is kind of the idea, but it's going to be high low, so short to front, long at the back. And it's a style I haven't done before. I've seen it on a lot of couture dresses and I've always thought, wow, that looks really cool. I like the way it hangs, but I've never done it before. And it's basically this, this fabulous stuff. Do, 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 do. Horse hair braid. No horses were braided 
in the process of this skirt. Um, it's basically like plastic, what is it? Lattice stuff is kind of stretchy. When you stretch it, it goes really weird. Anyway, it's that stuff and um, it's bordered with some satin bias binding to get rid of the really ugly edge like that. And uh, basically that's just sewn onto the edge of the skirt. But the skirt I'm gonna do today is a bit of a test rather than me like going full, full on into the project. I'm still in like testing mode. And I will admit, I have cheated a little bit because I've already done the base of the petticoat skirt in cotton. So that already exists. I needed something to work off though for my for the rest of it. I'm not really sure what kind of fabric I want to use at the minute. I have in my stash, because I'm trying to use up my stash as much as I can at the minute. In my stash, I have this really nice black chiffon and it is really nice, but I don't know that it's gonna be right for this because I don't know how it's gonna hang when it's got all of this stuff attached to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one tier of the petticoat in this and see how it hangs. But I also have this amazing organza, which I wanna say I got this from a holiday in the US sometime. I went in a fabric shop. I don't know if you can quite see it, but it's really sparkly and glittery organza. Um, it's cute and it's glittery. But again, I don't know if it's right for this project and I don't know how it's gonna hang. I think the organza will hang better than the chiffon will. But who knows? That's what the experiment is for. So today I am gonna be making a circle skirt out of the organza and the chiffon and then um, finishing it off with this stuff. We'll see how it goes. And then whichever one's better is what I'll be using for the rest of the project. But the fun thing is, I can't get any more of that. So the organza, if I like that, I can't get any more of it because it came from America like 10 years ago. <laughs> As usual, chaos sewing with Alice. We'll see how it goes. I don't know why, but in the middle of recording that, my app, disconnected me so now i can't stop recording <sighs> just record forever and ever and ever
Okay. This, this is going to be interesting because uh, I've never really worked with chiffon before. <sighs> Look at it. What are you supposed to do with that? What are you supposed to do with that? So, I'm going to go on my trusty overlocker. I say trusty overlocker, it's uh, an off-brand overlocker. And I've put a super tiny little narrow stitch on it. And uh, it, by the way, this is so off-brand, the light doesn't work on it. If I put the bulb in, the bulb lives in a drawer down here, because if I put the bulb in it, it just vibrates out. Never done this before. This could go wrong. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I thought that was going to be um, worse. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised that worked. This is such a relaxing sound with the relaxing hobby. Oh, too fast. That didn't go so well. Would you like to see? I'll just cut this bit off. My, my shame. Okay, that's better. Okay, I wasn't pulling it over enough. I have to now attach the horse hair. It's gone cold. I'm going to do like a little mini overlap. A little overlap to grip it into there, and then we'll get a mini overlap when we come back. A chunk. This is always the fun bit. sewing. I've noticed um, I've missed a bit, which wouldn't have happened if I'd ironed a crease in it and knew exactly where I was. But there we go. And that's basically, hopefully, my chiffon skirty bit is done. So I'm going to see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to make the organza one in exactly the same way and then I'm just going to compare the two and see which one. I prefer, so let's find out. So the glittery organza is about a million times easier to use than the chiffon is because it doesn't move around as much, but there is one <laughs> side effect. Um, can you see this? That's disgusting. There is glitter everywhere. Can you see it on the desk? It's just everywhere. So much mess. Just so much mess. Thanks, Organza. I've decided to do it slightly differently. So as you can see here, I've done ruffles instead of the giant circle. Look how fabulous these sparkly ruffles are looking. I'm probably gonna need a bunch more of these things. I'll show you in a minute what it is um, my new idea is. Do you know what's really annoying? When you've been doing your ruffling. But you are that much short. Really? Oh. Oh. Thanks. I'll go switch that off. 
Okay, the music's over. <laughs> As I was saying, today kind of um, was supposed to be an experiment day, but it kind of turned into a make the skirt day. I did change what I was going to do. Initially, I was going to cut out circles on my fabric and just keep kind of doing that and building layers up. But I realized that if I do that, I'm going to run into a problem in that I'm not going to have enough fabric of the, the sparkly organza to be able to do that. So to conserve as much of it as possible and get as little waste out of it, I decided that I was just going to cut straight lines and ruffle them up and then put them onto a giant rectangle of chiffon and then kind of do a weird drape thing on that. So it's kind of kept a relatively narrow top but it's really full at the bottom. And I did actually steal that idea from the Cinderella petticoat from the live action Disney Cinderella. I was, I was once gonna make that and then I was like, <laughs> where am I gonna store that thing? So I never actually did it, but I did a load of research into how to kind of achieve that look. And I will admit, I stole the idea of the Cinderella petticoat and just made it a whole lot smaller. So basically this is a Cinderella petticoat, but like the punk rock goth, steampunk version. Tiny. I haven't finished it today, but my experiments have gone well. So I guess we'll continue tomorrow. And um, I think I've only got one more layer to do. Let's see how that goes. Stop recording. Why won't you stop? Oh, why does this keep disconnecting? Hey, it's finished. Ignore the jacket. I will talk about that in another vlog. There it is, the monstrosity. This top bit, long bits are removable. So it can just be this super cute, super cute little skirt if that's all I want. And now it stopped raining. And the road is dry enough. Ha 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 ha! I beat the weather! I win! So if you want more Chaos Sewing or part two, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, press the little bell thing. Make sure to check out www.alice-strange.com as well for goodies and merch and stuff and music. Um, I'm going to go and do a little bit of skating and then I'm going to watch the movie Cruella. So in part two, I guess I'll give you a little review of what I think of the movie, if I think I've picked the right costume, if I'm going to have regrets at not waiting to see the movie before I pick the costume, and just how crazy I'm thinking of doing that whole giant red petal overskirt thing. Um, see you next time guys! Bye!